So, uh, Jang, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to meet me and conduct this interview. So, before we get started, can you tell maybe the audience a little bit about yourself? Hello, everyone. My name is Jang. I'm 29 years old and I live in Ho Chi Minh City. And I'm a pharmacist. I'm working at a foreign pharmaceutical company now. Nice to meet you. Yes, thank you, Jang. So, Jang, um, I know I've known you for a while now and you've been a student in English now for some time. And your English is, I would say, phenomenal. You have very, very good English. Can you share maybe a little bit about your English experiences through the years, your journey of learning English, and maybe some difficulties that you've had? Yeah, sure. So I started to learn English maybe four years ago. And at first I learned about grammar, and then I self-studied most of the time by listening, reading articles, and watching movies, listening to music. And because I work by myself, so sometimes I feel lazy and I cannot complete the task that I plan. So obviously, it's not a good result. But four years. Yes. Really, you've only been learning English for four years. Yeah, because before that, I learned French in my university. I'm very impressed. Four years in French. So for you, okay. So four years now, you are very, very fluent in English, but. In Vietnam, you have maybe hundreds of English centers. Why did you choose English Town? Yeah. So, as I shared, because when I study alone, sometimes when I learn a new word, and then I don't use it in real life, and then I forget, forget it, and then and I start all over it again, and I just figure it out that I have one problem. I need an environment for me to practice English, so I just search on Google and. Coincidentally, I saw an advertisement on Facebook about English Town, about 100% English environment. So I just, one day I just went to English Town and signed for the course. So, because being here, how do you think English Town has helped you? Because I know you mentioned 100% English environment. And also before, you discussed a little bit not being able to remember words and having issues. But how has English Town really benefited you? I think English town helps me a lot because when I came here, like in the past, I learned inside class with the teachers, and then when I when I join activity outside, I can join with the PTs and all the, all the friends in games. Yeah, a lot of activities all day for me to choose, and you guys have a flexible schedule so that I can choose uh, which one is the most appropriate with my schedule. So yeah. Yeah, because I even remember like some conversations in the past. Because for you, you're you have a very busy life, and mm -hmm. you did mention English Town has a flexible schedule. Do you think that's really benefited you quite a bit? Yeah, I think it's the biggest factor that I chose this one because when you know I work full time, so sometimes I have to go for a business trip, and when I come back, if I learn with the traditional method. Maybe I will feel left behind by the classmates because you learn with a book, right? Lessons. But at English Town, you have a topic based lesson. So yeah. when I come back, I just learn new things. Yeah, yeah thank you. And Jang, uh, the last thing so before we finish this little interview, uh, can you give the audience maybe some advice for how they can improve their English and maybe some things that they can do for themselves? Yeah, I think you just have to advise this one, just learn what you like because when you like something, you will remember it longer. And second, just choose the right environment for you that everybody will help you improve your English. So Jing, again, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to meet me and share your English learning story about English Town. Yeah. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Yes, thank you.